and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Taric Poppy. We're going to go ahead and try um, this out. This is going to be uh, maybe a deck that should be more in the meme tier section, honestly, but I just want to try it out. We're going to be playing a deck with full on rallies and full on support, and we're going to try to attack a whole lot, support uh, with all those attacks and then rally, attack some more, support some more, and so on. You can see our two drops are going to be Tiari and War Chefs, both supporting. Um, instead of like Bright Steel Protector, we're going to have Mench of the Stones in the three mana slot, and then Terrick at four, Mountain Sojourners at five. What I wanted to try here was Relentless Pursuit and Golden Ages um, with Terrick. New Relentless Pursuit now costs four mana, but it targets an ally. It says Grant an ally, plus one, plus one, and then Rally. And so that works with Taric because if you Relentless Pursuit and give Taric plus one plus one, and then have Taric copy over the the you know you it then you can copy it over so that you can then copy over the Relentless Pursuit and it rally again. We've seen that with Golden Ages. We've seen Taric and Golden Ages be a wonderful combo. Relentless Pursuit is worse than Golden Ages, but it's still you can you're only allowed to play three Golden Ages, and so we're going to be playing Golden Ages four, five, and six with the Relentless Pursuit and so just trying it out. We're not going to be good if we get behind. Uh, if our opponent like curves out well and we don't and we get behind, we're probably not going to be that great. But, you know, whatever. We're, <laughs> you only live your life once. I'm playing one Gifts from Beyond in here that can, if we do get behind, maybe we can uh, give like uh, Taric Lifesteal and then like give something else Lifesteal also. You know, get like double Lifesteal or we can use this as a finisher as double Overwhelm. So, you know, if we're behind, we can use Lifesteal. If we're ahead, we can use Overwhelm. Either one. Or if we like have to stun something, you know, we can do that as well. So we'll just kind of, you know, just kind of have that in as the 40th card. So we'll see how it goes. Tarek Poppy. I'm going to take it on over to ranked. We have Tristana Poppy with Shadow Isles. I hope that's not for, like, hard removal. I'm not playing any Bastion, so, like, our deck's not going to be great to, against... Um, cards like Mini Morph, Vengeance, stuff like that, right? Like, we're rolling the dice with what we got here. I like, you know, Tracker and Mentor the Stones, buff up Tracker, using a Sharp Sight for protection. Could have sent the other Sharp Sight back because we do need our champions. And now, obviously, drawing uh, Pill Cascade, Pill Cascade back to back. I wish I would have sent one of the Sharp Sights back at least. But they got Pokey Stick, we got some protection, I suppose. I hope they don't have another pokey stick. Alright, love finding Taric. Perfect draw. Good, not another pokey stick. That's good. Got to buff up the Fleet Feather Tracker a little bit. Every squad's got a heavy. Okay. Each life a rare jewel. Loda. So no rallies right now. The mountain endures. I'm not worried about. I'm basically making this block. So I'm a little worried about my life total. Them being that aggressive and everything. All right, we're gonna gem to heal. And now pill cascade to draw two. Unyielding. Here are the golden ages. That'll be great for next round. So, hoping they don't Vengeance or Minimorph, my Taric. Ooh. 
All right, five Bino. What's the plan, old bean, sir? My plan is to kill them. I'm just kind of doing those both first to level up the Tarek. I want Tarek to level it up. So this is actually a spot like where Relentless Pursuit would have been better than the Golden Ages because the barrier won't matter once it attacks because then it can't take damage or die. Oh, they had Buster Shot there. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, still as quick because, yeah, you know, these still can't take damage or die and, you know, get a couple attacks in. Victory still not that bad. GG's. Uh oh. We got thralls. So, yeah, no landmark destruction, but uh, rallies could be good against thralls. Like, they're. they're they can be. I'm going to send all this back, to be honest. We want our champions. Like, I like Protégé and stuff, but, you know, we want our champions. And, yeah, we have other threes. We don't want to, like, keep some of those threes and then have a bad hand or something. Okay, cool. I like the Sharp Sight for protection from Avalanche and stuff and different damage things. I like that they haven't... Never mind, spoke, spoke too soon. <laughs> I was going to say, I like that they haven't had a, a Thrall. Uh, I guess War Chefs... Doesn't die as easily as this Mentor of the Stones. Who are we playing next round? We're playing Tarek or Poppy? I think Poppy. Yeah, we're playing Poppy next round. At least they have to use Avalanche and not Ice Shard. Okay. Mentor of the Stones just dies too easily. Bobby does have to attack with another unit to go towards the level up. Now the War Chefs can also kind of reheal that Poppy back. They can help each other out. So they don't get that blocker anymore, so that's good. They, took, they just decided to get rid of their blocker. Let's just rally. Let's do that. So you get to play more than three rallies. Rallies are good in this matchup. And that's that's game. I think we we're only attacking for 12. Obviously, we had the sharp side. We could have made it lethal. I would have been a little scared of frostbite, but... Oh, lurkers. Okay. Uh, lurkers is probably going to be pretty tough. I could see, like, kind of keeping all three of these. So we do nothing on one, nothing on two. Protégé on three, Poppy on four, Rally on five. Doesn't sound that bad. Okay, okay. We'll make that a little better. Perfect. Okay, now we're now we're talking. Now we got Tracker and Sharp Sight. We do trade though, right? Yeah, because we just want to get their things out of here. Uh, yeah, I guess we have to trade. Man. I don't think I can play this Ibex. You know, I want to. We don't really have any support, but... I think we want the Sharp Sight to protect Poppy on round four. Yeah, so th this thing right here changes the song. So there's three different songs you can choose. I just 
on this board. We'll go song number three. Get that barrier. Could play the Ibex right here. I think we just get the attack before they play a blocker, though. We can play the Ibex after combat. We don't get the buff on the, that Ibex, but play after combat now. Good, good, good. They don't have the, the you know, two mana kill your thing card. I like them not having the kill your thing card. That thing doing six? No, it only does five. Awesome. We have the pale cascade for one plus one plus one. I got lucky. You'll get me next time. Rally with Poppy. Pretty good way to win. Uh oh. I never beat Viego. Alright, we'll send these two back. Keep Tarek, Sharp Sight, see what else we get. <laughs> yeah, games are pretty fast, especially against those kind of decks. This game is if it's that fast, we're probably losing. I don't know. This is again, this is gonna be a deck with like that has like Will of Ionia, Vengeance, all that kind of stuff. Not cool stuff to see. Alright, let's play. So just like vile feast, you know. Like I don't want to play mentor. They vile feast, and then cause I want to play. I want to attack with the poppy. I guess we could play turret. I think poppy is the better card to play, though. I just know the heroes around here Immediately. Somewhere. I taste purple. Yay. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Who are you? Okay. Alright, good. Not Vile Feast. So not Vile Feast is good. Submission or death for all who need. Beauty and life. I hope they continue to have not Vile Feast. Please continue to have not vile feast. Okay, good sign, good sign. That'll do. So Tarek gives the Poppy barrier. They both have barrier th that time, and then we get to attack again, and then and then Poppy levels up the second time. We get double rally. Wow, we beat Viego. This deck's too good. Four and zero. Oh. Yeah, Boosh says that Rally plus Poppy can beat everything, and that is true. Okay, so we're going to keep Ibex. I think I'm sending Tracker back against the Bilge Water deck with the Parlays and Mega Rains and that kind of stuff. So I think we're, we'll keep the Ibex. Ooh, Ibex Tiari. That could be a little bit of a combo. Be a little bit of a combo. Alright, good attack, good attack. I don't want to block 
and then go to one health, then we play Tiari, and then they you know make it rain and it dies. Whatever the journey brings, I will before we get to attack. We we're already taking the damage anyway. No time to rest. Oh, I hear them. Yeah, we already have to take a damage anyway. Wonder gets enabled anyway. I don't know. I mean, like I could block with the one four, I suppose. We want to draw a rally. Rally, rally. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Go get him, Poppy. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Woo! Alright, good. I was scared of warning shot my Nexus and then and then deal three. <laughs> they done for Yeah, that so that was their plan was the three mana deal five. That was their plan, and so they wanted to hit my Nexus. Three mana deal five. We were still going to be able to have Poppy survive because of the sharp sight. Like the, the three mana deal five wasn't going to kill Poppy, but they would have been able to block. I guess they could have killed it with the block, but yeah, they didn't get it. So that's the fastest 5 0 we've ever had. Yeah, we got really lucky there. They didn't hit the Nexus. I mean, they had a 75% chance of hitting the Nexus, so pretty lucky they didn't hit it. That's the fastest five games we've ever played. That's it just hit 20 minutes now. Wow. Um, yeah, teach me how to draw champions. Like you, I mean, yeah, that's this deck. You need you need champions and you need rallies. Like we, you know, we mulliganed. You, a lot of times you like want to keep an early curve and stuff like that. We'd mulliganed everything in this deck all the time because yeah, you just you just need your champions. You're not you're not winning without the champions in this deck. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, that was a good five zero. We'll go ahead and take that. Um, we kind of learned with this deck is that you, you really want your champions. Those champions with rallies are awesome, especially the Poppy. Poppy and Rally, you can do some really cool stuff. But just, as we saw that last game, Taric with either Golden Ages or Relentless Pursuit allows you to attack multiple times. And the two of them together was awesome. You know, like that last game, we had Poppy um, attacking on uh, round four. And then, you know, play Taric on five, Golden Ages, then we get two more attacks on five, and that's already a level up Poppy. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I think if you're playing this deck later, uh, I think Mountain Sojourners and Mentor the Stones are two cards that you should never, ever keep in an opening hand. Okay, so send them back. They're both support cards, both literally and figuratively. Like, they support the rest of the deck, but obviously they have the support keyword. Um, but they're like support cards that you don't need in your opener. Your your important cards are going to be your champions, obviously. And then like Sharp Sight's a card that you're going to keep most of the time. Like keep a Sharp Sight or maybe, you know, like this is a great card. And uh, then, you know, like your challengers, Protégé and Flea Feather Tracker are the next imp most important things. You can keep a Rally if you already have the champions. You can keep a Pale Cascade if you have Taric. Um, otherwise, if you don't have Taric, this card goes away. You can keep Tiari and War Chefs if you have like an Ibex and a Fleet Feather Tracker also, plus you have a champion. Because remember, you gotta find these champions. The champions are gonna be the most important thing. If you don't have champions, you're gonna be mulliganing a lot more. All right, but that's gonna be it here though for Tarek Poppy. So uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this rally support. We got pretty lucky in these games. We had our champions a whole lot. We had our rallies. The things lined up for us. Our opponents weren't casting vengeance or many more for anything like that. Uh, so we got pretty fortunate in these games. Um, you know, this is sometimes, you know, you have like your 5-0 deck like Thralls earlier that we played a few days ago. They were like, yeah, this Thralls deck is just great. It's going to be good a lot of the time. But then you have these kind of decks where in this short game sample size, we won our five. But then, you know, the next time we play, we could go like one and four or two and three. You know, it's, it's that kind of thing. Um, so I wouldn't ex expect to always be going 5-0 with this kind of deck, but it's fun to play and incredibly fast games too, especially some of our opponents conceding early. All right, but that's going to be it for Tarek Poppy. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.